Well, nostalgia is something that brings us all together. And a local Facebook page that celebrates Grand Rapids West Side is getting a lot of attention after posting pictures of people enjoying the winter weather from several decades ago. Oh gosh, these are so <laughs> wonderful. 13 on your side's Keely Lovern spoke to the city's archive office and a woman who remembers those times fondly. It's here at Richmond Park on the city's west side that people have been making memories for decades. And although times have changed, pictures from the past are still bringing people together. Pictures like these. It's just fun to remember just how different things were then than they are now. Barbara Scott was six years old when she moved to Grand Rapids, where Richmond Park was just three blocks away, and it's where she learned to skate. That just touched my heart strings because it brought back all the friends that I still have and how we really connected. Fast forward to today's world where pictures of those times surfaced on her Facebook feed. It brought back how safe we felt and how secure we felt. Those pictures were compiled by a community member, all from the Grand Rapids City Archives and Records Center. By keeping those items, we can digitize them and put them online so people have access to all these great photographs. And they bring back great memories. Tony Wright, the city's archives officer, says Grand Rapids is lucky to have such a long history and proper preservation of that history. And some of these pictures have no information on the back as far as who took the picture or the location of the picture mm -hmm. or even the people in the picture. So we use social media to get the who, what, when, where, and why of all these images. And that's exactly how someone like Barbara Scott got the chance to have some of her childhood memories brought back to life. That's where you would meet people. You didn't text and <laughs> do that stuff. You would actually talk to them face to face. And let's... Um, vote for things that give the parks the money to keep these places open for our kids, for our grandkids, um, so they can have some of those memories and meet people that way as well. You can see all of these pictures and so many more from all eras of Grand Rapids history by going online to the city's archives page. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.